This is Optimal Living Daily, episode 1568, A Simple Approach to Long-Term Goals by Anthony Ungaro of breakthetwitch.com. And I'm your narrator, Justin Mollick, reading you blogs or articles every single day of the year to help you live a more meaningful life covering personal growth, self-help, minimalism, productivity, happiness, and more. Before we get to it, if you have a business or you know someone who does, you probably know that small business owners like me wear a lot of hats, and some of those hats are totally great, but some, like filing taxes and running payroll, for example, not so great. That's where Gusto comes in. Gusto makes payroll, taxes, and HR actually easy for small businesses. Fast, simple payroll processing, benefits, and simple management tools all in one place. Gusto automatically pays and files your federal, state, and local taxes so that you don't have to worry about it, plus they make it easy to add on health benefits and even 401ks for your team. Those old-school, clunky payroll providers just weren't built for the way modern small businesses work, but Gusto is. And now's the time to get set up, don't wait. Listeners get three months free when they run their first payroll. Try a demo and see for yourself at gusto.com slash old. That's G-U-S-T-O dot com slash O-L-D. For now, let's get right to the post as we optimize your life. A Simple Approach to Long-Term Goals by Anthony Ungaro of breakthetwitch.com. After a third successful run of Min's Game, I'm left thinking about what's next. One of the reasons the minimalist game seems to work so well is that it starts out with a ridiculously easy challenge and works up from there. Establishing an easy win right away by getting rid of just one thing and building on that success. I've been considering different ways to apply this same thinking over new subjects. Amy and I are at a point where we're not feeling the need to declutter much more, but I love to apply the same action-based model in other ways. Thinking more broadly, I'm working on an easy to reproduce format that can be applied to many different aspects of life. I like to be able to apply the system to anything, whether it be decluttering, exercise, eating better, creativity, work, and more. A few years ago, I learned about Kaizen, the practice of continuous improvement, small but constant improvements to a process or towards a goal. Applying this idea, I was discussing daily push-ups with a friend when this idea came up, one push-up every single day. That's it, a single push-up. Every day for a full week, do one push-up per day. On day eight, you've been doing one push-up per day for seven days straight. What do you think your odds of being able to do two push-ups are? I'd say pretty darn good. Starting in week two, do two push-ups per day. In week three, you've been doing two per day for the last week, so of course you'll be able to do three in a row. This kind of slow, methodical build may seem counterintuitive, but I've realized that this is actually the best way to do just about anything. Can you do 52 push-ups in a row right now? If not, I bet you could, had you started this program one year ago. It may feel like getting down on the floor to do one push-up is ridiculous, but that's why it's so important to start this way. If you wanted to build a habit of doing daily push-ups and start off by doing as many as you can possibly do, you're going to be too sore to do them the next day. This kills the habit before it starts. Min's game slowly builds up the habit and confidence of decision-making, deciding over and over which things to let go of. Over 30 days, almost 500 items disappear, but it starts with just one item on the first day. What I'm starting to realize is that we should care much less about qualitative progress than simply making sure the short-term action aligns with that end goal. Celebrate the consistency of good habit versus progress towards a particular goal, i.e., Success is going to the gym regularly as opposed to losing weight. Weight loss might be the actual goal, but focusing on that loses touch with the sustainable short-term actions that get us there and keep us there. It feels strange, but since I started lifting weights again two months ago, I decided to not make any fitness goals. My biggest problem has always been getting to the gym. Once I'm there, I work out hard and do what I need to do to get a good workout. It's the actual act of stepping away from my desk or couch putting on my workout clothes, getting in the car, and walking out the door that I've struggled with. In the last two months, I've been going to the gym three times per week while doing cardio and lifting. I've only weighed myself a few times out of curiosity. I haven't changed my eating habits at all. I've decided to focus on one thing and one thing alone, getting to the gym at least three times per week. So here's what I'm proposing as my new approach to habit change. One small, ridiculously easy to accomplish thing every day for seven days. Day eight, add. Week one ideas, meditate for one minute. Do one push-up. Write one sentence in a journal. Read one page of a book. 
No digital screens for 10 minutes. Play piano for one minute. Drink a sip of water. Hold a yoga pose for one minute. In week two, maintain the week one habit and add one more ridiculously easy thing. Meditate for one additional minute, two total. Do two push-ups. Write two sentences in a journal. No digital screens for 20 minutes. Play piano for two minutes, etc., etc. By building on this pattern of very simple habits, we're stacking small wins that will create big results down the line. Continue into week three, four, five, six to 52, and you'll have completely changed your habits and life for the better. Talk about aligning short-term actions with long-term vision, right? It can be very frustrating when we don't see progress and that usually drives us to push ourselves to extremes to try to accomplish quick results. Which would be more effective in the long run, exercising for 24 hours in a row or exercising for 30 minutes for 48 days in a row? I think we both know the answer to that one and both take the same amount of overall time and effort. Have you ever tried breaking down new habits like these into bite-sized chunks? What were the results? I'm going to start out with one minute of daily meditation today and see where it takes me. You just listened to the post titled A Simple Approach to Long-Term Goals by Anthony Angaro of BreakTheTwitch.com. And don't forget Gusto offers modern, easy payroll and benefits to small businesses across the country. They were even named Best Online Payroll by PC Mag. Get three months free when you run your first payroll at gusto.com slash old. That's gusto.com slash old. That'll do it for today. Have a great day, happy Friday, and I'll see you over the weekend where your optimal life awaits.